very nice. All right, what up, people? Welcome back to Vegan Week, or, or yeah, Vegan Week Part Two, Episode Two, Day Two. I'm struggling. I'm hungry. All I've had today is a fruit smoothie. I mean, the smoothie was pretty good, but usually at this point of the day, like after breakfast or a late lunch or, or an early lunch or whatever, I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty full. I can wait till dinner. But right now, all I want is to eat something really good. And you know what sucks is my sister sent us a gift card to Texas Roadhouse for Christmas. And I can't use it yet because obviously Texas Roadhouse sells steak, not kale. So I can't use that. So day two is not off to a good start. Babe, how you doing day two? I feel great. I've done a lot of food making for you and you don't seem that grateful. I said thanks like twice. I even packed you snacks because I knew you'd get hungry and complain. And you never eat breakfast and you're already complaining you're hungry. Which doesn't make any sense because you never even eat breakfast and I just fed you breakfast. I don't eat breakfast because when I eat dinner, I usually have a nice heaping load of protein. You also have usually a second dinner. <laughs> I do. I usually eat like four times a night. Not a day, a night. I usually eat once during the day and then four times a night. It's really weird. But yeah, we're off to the mall to go get some coffee. I know that's kind of weird. Why are you going to the mall to get coffee? Go to Starbucks. Well, you'll see why we're going to the mall. It's beautiful. But yeah, we're off to the mall. I really hope I don't pass either uh, like one of those pretzel places because I feel like I, I would eat a pretzel even though I've never gotten a pretzel at a mall. I just feel like today's the day I'm gonna actually want one and I can't even eat it. And two, yeah, that's really about it, just the pretzels. You're gonna want it because you can't have it. Yep, so we're off to the mall. Wait till you guys see this bougie coffee store. It's, in, it's incredible. Yeah, we're going to the mall, we'll see you there. How many times are you gonna say we're going to the mall? You said it, you said it last. So do my 19 times saying it even matter? No, but yeah, we're going there. See you in a second, <laughs> goodbye. Vegan week part two, go, or day two going horrible. We made it to the mall, and I'm not gonna lie, this is the most busy mall I've ever seen in my I life. I told you it was gonna be busy today. I said it's two weekends before Christmas. People are going crazy. Yeah, she was right. She goes, it's gonna be busy. I'm like, it's not gonna be busy. Are you kidding you me? You want a snack ball? No, I'm good, yeah, I'll have one. No, I'm good. I had one in the you car. Wanna save it? Yeah, I'll save it. I don't have my other one. <laughs> but I know I'm gonna pass something in this mall that I want and I'm not gonna be able to eat it. I'm gonna be in a very, very bad mood. Hi. All right, wait till you guys see this new coffee shop. It is literally insane. Insane. All right, so we survived the mall. It was quite uh, quite hectic, a lot of people there, but we did come through with some pretty big purchases. Yeah, I, we, geez, we bought coffee, which we bought a lot of. We'll show you when we get back to the house because we got a lot of coffee. <laughs> and then also I bought a new iPhone. I know this is pretty, uh, this is a new one. I don't even, Dang. the 10 or 11 or whatever. Um, I bought it because I was rocking the iPhone 7 and this thing was getting real old, real like slow. And I said, F it bro. I've used the same phone for like five years. So we decided to spice it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we made a little pit stop on the way home. I was so hungry and the only thing I know that's vegan that we can get quickly is Jack in the Box fries. So we got Jack in the Box fries. Claire was not happy about this decision, but I'm hungry, so. I, was, I never said I wasn't happy. All right, so we made it back home, and I'm going to show you how smart it is to buy these Nespresso pods. I'm not paid to say this, I wish I was. Nespresso, if you're watching this, hook your boy up. But we spent $81 on coffee, okay? That might seem like a lot, but if you go to Starbucks, that's probably like, what, like 10, 15 drinks or something like that for 81 bucks. But let me show you how many drinks we have here. You're gonna, like, puke. Like, no joke. Well, In 10, 15. That's like me and you together. You're not thinking individually. Yeah, so individually maybe like 20 trips or something like that I don't know how much coffee is like a month a month of Starbucks. Okay, let's just say hypothetically each drink of Starbucks is five bucks So that'd be like 10 plus 30 or 10 3 13 13 bucks No, I don't know. 14 14 14 drinks of Starbucks would cost you 80 bucks I think maybe something like that, but let me show you how many drinks we got for $81 and each little tablet is one drink. So just just so you know, but look at this. Okay, so this is what we have left of our previous one. We don't really like these, but that's about 20 uh, capsules of coffee. But look how many we bought. 
Boom. We got 10 more for $80. Just kidding. Keep them coming, babe. Boom. 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 That is a lot of coffee. Look at all these. Sweet. Mmm. 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 Because I care about this, and it's kind of wasteful to use single use things, we store all our used ones, and then uh, we have. Wait, where's the baggie? It's in there somewhere. I don't know. We have a little baggie that you like send them in, and the Nespresso people take the capsules and then recycle them and reuse them for like sculptures and stuff. And just for fun, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how this thing works. I wake up, I'm thirsty, I'm tired. All you do is this right here. Okay, so you get yourself a little cup like this. You pull this up, boom, put it right there. Put this right there. Open this bad boy up by doing this, boom. See that, the old one slides out. You take your new one, like that, that is my favorite, boom, right there. Bianco Leggero, or something like that. Slide it right in there, close, lock. See this light, now you push that, and in about 10 minutes, you are going to have a coffee that costs you one dollar, and it would cost you like five at Starbucks or something. Some Starbucks employees and say, that would only cost you 347, not five. Okay. And it starts singing a song when it's close to being done, and for one dollar, you get a nice, warm, Double espresso. Focus, thank you. Look how beautiful. And now I know a lot of you guys might like iced coffee. Guess what, I do too, but it's like cold out, so I'm not gonna drink iced coffee because people would make fun of you. But all you do is put this bad boy in ice and it tastes very good, put some milk in it. I, and again, we're not paid by Nespresso. If I was, I guarantee you Nespresso, if you're watching this, I would sell at least a billion units. And Claire's gonna do pretty much the same thing. So, right there, baby, cheers. Oh yeah, and it's all vegan, by the way. That it is. Okay, so what time is it right now, babe? Time to party. Okay, well, it's really 6.30. Oh. I am about to make dinner, right? I'm making Andrew's favorite dinner. And He's I'm already this. tried this. And Andrew is restoring his iPhone. It's taking forever, I don't know how to do it. Why's it gotta be so complex? Okay, but I brought out the camera because me made an oopsie. <laughs> Did you poop your pants again? No. Oh. So here's the thing. Yesterday, when I was at the store, you forgot to buy stuff. I uh, was in. I was buying the Brussels sprouts, and they were they were real nasty. Okay. So I was like, well, I have to go. I'll just go to the store tomorrow, because then they'll put out new produce. So I don't have. One of the main ingredients for dinner tonight. Well, why don't you try to figure out something you can put in besides Brussels sprouts? Okay, I guess I could go see if I could somehow. Just uh, try to re just try to save it. If you fail, we'll eat this, and we can have it again later this week with Brussels sprouts. <laughs> That's what you would like, isn't it? I love this meal. All right, so dinner is getting close to being done. We would show you what it looks like now, but it looks like a mess. I'm not gonna lie, I really didn't do anything. No, Claire did all no, of it. He helped so much. I literally did nothing. But we will show you when the plates are done and we're about to eat them because it will look way better. This is one of my favorite meals Claire ever makes and I'm freaking pumped. Wait, I didn't go get more Brussels sprouts. <clears throat> I didn't go get more Brussels sprouts. Instead, we used cabbage. I don't know what to expect, but a lot of the time we eat this, we have fish or like I have fish with it. But no fish today because vegans don't eat fish apparently, so stupid, right? Boom! Look at that beautiful thing. It looks a little orangey. I don't know why this lighting always makes everything look orange. But look at these beasts Wait, of I meals. Wait, should light? Maybe. I don't know if that helps, but my God, this is so beautiful looking. One of my favorite meals Claire Bear has ever made. Usually, there's a fat piece of salmon right there, but... Fortunately, I can't eat salmon today, but oh my God, I am excited. Okay, so babe, tell the people how you made this beautiful, beautiful dish. It starts off with quinoa. Then you go to leafy greens, like any kind of leafy greens, any kind of salad you want. But then usually it's Brussels sprouts and onions, but onions that you sprouts, so um, we use cabbage, the oven pepper, onion powder, onion powder well, well, garlic powder, well, powder well, lemon juice. I hope you guys have notepad because I don't even know what she put in this. 
and I watched her do it. So we're gonna devour this bad boy, and I'll let you know how I do. It's like so weird. It's like I'm like getting yeah. surgery each time I eat, but goodbye. Wait, no, I want them to do a time lapse of us eating. I think it's so cute. Oh, sorry, I didn't see there. I was too busy looking at my new iPhone. <laughs> You should eat it all or you're going to be hungry in like 20 minutes. I'm tapping out. Alright, well boys and girls, that is going to end day two. Episode two. You're about to knock over all the stuff on that desk, lady. But anyways, like I said, that is going to end episode two, day two, week two, year two, whatever of vegan week. Pretty good day. I had a smoothie. There's Claire being weird. I had a smoothie. I had french fries. If I had a big salad, I had a lot of pistachios, a couple of those like granola ball things Claire made, and a pretty good day. I'm definitely gonna be really hungry in about 10 minutes, but what is the best vegan candy? My like actual candy, not, oh, Mrs. Johnson's vegan this cookies. Treats. No, I not mean that. Smartsy. I'm talking name brand stuff, like Skittles, Twix. I think like Sour Patch is vegan. I think Skittles are vegan. No chocolate. But yeah, tune in for episode number three, day three of Vegan Week. Claire has a full, full menu ahead of us tomorrow. And tomorrow will be a little more normal, um, normal because we're probably not going to the mall again. Um, I, I hope we're not doing that again. We really did a lot of stuff today, even though we didn't really do a lot to think about it. We did a lot, but didn't do a lot to think about it. But that is going to end episode two. Like I said, any last words, babe? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that could have been bad. <laughs>